look at the females compared to in right wing politics compared to like left wing. Do do I have to? And like not only like in shape, super attractive, dress well. Uh. Huh? And then also we have to like actually be smart and know our shit because we're getting attacked 24 seven. How much COVID cash went to CRT? Critical race theory and education. It's it's a racist curriculum used to teach children uh, that somehow their white skin is not equal to black skin and other things in education. Yeah. Mr. Dodaro, I have to tell you in Illinois that they, they received 5.1 billion um, at, at an elementary school there that, that used it for equity and diversity. Um, so it's it's being used for these things. Trump 24 Ooh. or before, uh, what does that mean to you? He's already president. He's president now. He's president now. How would that work? Because Joe Biden has been been the president, right? He's the, been the president. But you just said that it's Obama's third term, but also that he's Trump calling, is president. He's calling the shots on all this mess that's going on right now. And all the You Ooh. know they eat babies. That is not bullshit. It's not just the dogs and the cats. They're full on vampires. And everybody still thinks I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. Huh? And then I'm just like, look at women on the left. Dear God. I mean, what country do you want to live in just visually at this point? Uh, well, preferably one where none of this existed. Now, honey, I get it. Beauty's in the eye of the beer holder, and I'm not one to judge on people's physical appearances, but you are the best argument I've seen for universal health care yet because you are in desperate need of an optometrist. I'm just saying, going after physical appearance was an interesting approach when one side's got Taylor Swift and Jennifer Lawrence and Beyonce, and your side's rock and Roseanne Barr. Just personally not the angle I would have found on that particular protractor, but that's just me. Maybe Marjorie Trailer Queen's made it into somebody's spank bank, but it sure as shit ain't mine. Now, I get it. You're talking about all those conservative women that make the rest of us feel like we can't wake up from a nightmare about the Stepford Wives. You know, the ones that look like, uh, you. Seriously, how do every single one of you look like the exact same NPC from one of those games that middle-aged dudes click on because they're labeled not safe for work and then they have to cancel their credit card the next day? It's fucking weird. And riddle me this, Winnebago Regina George, if there's so many hot women on the right, or any women on the right, why does it seem like the only woman willing to date men on the right is Rosie Palmer? Let's be real, conservative men may be beating off, but it's certainly not women with a stick, or John McKente wouldn't have started that failed date right dating app. Uh, on second thought, looking at the domestic abuse stats for conservative households maybe beating women with sticks wasn't the best uh, analogy for that there. But the reason that so many women like this exist very publicly within the Republican Party is that the Republican Party, like a strip club, is chock full of weird, creepy, lonely, middle-aged men. And wherever you have a high concentration of divorcees with disturbing browser histories, you're going to have girls with daddy issues willing to grift them out of their money and attention. Which, let's be honest, is, is what you're doing. And hey, look, I've got nothing but respect for people who work in the more adult profession. They provide an incredibly important service. Companionship is a vital part of a healthy human experience. And not every Everybody has the time, ability, desire, or emotional intelligence to get that organically, and that's okay. So giving people avenues to fulfill those needs in their lives is important, and I, I fully support sex work. And while pole dancing is an incredibly impressive talent, it's not really an applicable skill for a congresswoman to apply to governing. Just look, we've all seen that Lauren Boebert's skills are better suited for the back row of Beetlejuice than they are for budgets and bills in Congress. What I'm getting at is that a functioning society is all about having the appropriate people in the appropriate places. It's like that time Einstein said that everybody's a genius, but if you judge a congresswoman on her ability to climb a pole, the rest of the world will spend their lives thinking that we've got the dumbest motherfuckers in the planet in Congress. Maybe it was a fish in a tree. I don't know. I'm paraphrasing. Point is, is that we don't need our people in government to look good, we need them to govern good. It's what's important, it's why we have both C-SPAN and OnlyFans. And while I respect the type of work you do, you're doing it in an inappropriate place, and all I'm saying is that maybe you could move it out of the realm of C-SPAN and back into the realm where your skills are best suited. Because it's not government, honey. I'm, I'm sorry, it's just, it's not. And back to your original question, that would be the country I want to live in just visually at this point. Good? Good.